Good morning. Here's your hot beverage, just the way you like it. There you go. Yeah. Cheers. So I just want to give you a quick update. Um, I do feel much better totally cleaning out, cleaning whatever, whatever was bothering me. Um, I think it was sugar. I kind of bought some sugar. It just, I don't do well with it. I mean, it's so good, you know, so good. And, and yeah, it's like, oh, it makes you so happy. And uh, I think it just, um, it just uh, turned against me. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, all the other things. I mentioned you get, all gave me such great support yesterday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you gave me subje suggestions. And one of them was that you just need to stop working and, and uh, take care of yourself. Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. But uh, let me uh, do adjustment. I, I forgot to adjust before I started. Ugh. Yeah, I just wanted to get this out because i got to go into work here in... Um, at some point, and I wanted to get this uh, out. Okay, so, uh, you know, I do like to work, so I just wanted to explain that. And I think if you're already nomads, you already kind of know that at some point you like to work during the year. And I figured during the summer, I mean, it's pretty much, you know, yeah, uh, might as well do something while I'm doing nothing, you know, <laughs> just trying to escape the heat. Yeah, that's basically... This summer, this is what I'm finding. It's like, where where can I escape? And so I used to love summer, but mm, as a nomad, I'm not so sure anymore. You know, it's like, ooh, got to get through the summer, you know, so we can get to the winter. The winter is what I'm really looking forward to. So which brings me to my other fact. Um, I can't wait. Uh, I know I'm going to meet some of you, and um, I'm going to be heading south and, and uh, be boondocking. So I'm really looking forward to boondocking. Again, oh, yes, I dream about it. That That's looking to my future, future, you know, boondocking. I have, uh, you know, more money in my pocket. And so I'm just trying to get through um, working right now and I just do it. Just grin and bear it. Yeah. And but um, I do have to take care of myself while I'm working. That's that's uh, one of the issues that I uh, kind of fell into. Just as, uh, well, you know, I'm going to do this and do, I'm just going to like muddle through and, and I'll just get through this. Well, I can't just get through it. I need to embrace it. You know, if I'm working, I'm working. But that doesn't mean I have to throw everything else out. And, uh, you know, as we get to know each other, I mean, that can be part of, um, or that was a uh, part of things that, that, uh, I've experienced in the past, you know, got to get rid of this and I'm going to move forward into that new person that um, I want to be you know somebody who is conscientious no matter what's going on around her whether I'm working or I'm boondocking or uh, just whatever I need to take care of uh, my, myself and stick with what I know works for me you know like the apple a day thing <laughs> things like that um, another thing too that I've noticed that I'm wondering if I kind of put my body off balance was um, ibuprofen because you know sometimes my back would get so tight um, in the upper back. I don't I don't have back problems none. But most of the people I talk to, when you stand in one spot for a long time, you, your your back starts kind of compressing just a little bit, and everything becomes tight. And it's around it's it's the upper back. So I was taking ibuprofen. Um, so I have to uh, decide what I'm going to do with that. And I did have some aches and pains, you know, my arm and yeah. I think I'm getting over it. So I'm looking for I'm looking forward to the future. Yes, and I'm I'm embracing the future and I'm looking. Um, I'm excited about it. So and I am excited about boondocking coming up. It's it's just right around the corner. I mean, I can get through this and. And it's not just the heat, but I know there's a whole bunch of nomads are out traveling. You know, they're still traveling. They're out. Well, it's just not. Um, if I was going to do that, I'd want to. Some of them are um, 
they're in a relationship with somebody and they're out like uh Tristan and his wife SUV RVing I mean they're together out traveling a lot and of course when he's alone he's a guy and he's out traveling but this is not um something that I uh want to do uh just go out boondocking all by myself out in places I've never been to before so um possibly uh coming up I, I do the caravan and uh, we can travel together if anybody wants to get a caravan together yeah um so and then somebody did tell me about a christian caravan coming up and i did look at her um at her site yeah and i can't remember her name i'm sorry i, I need to do a shout out for her maybe i'll run her thing across for um well i don't think i will be able to because i'm gonna be um uh, pressured for time because I want to get this up. Yeah, um, whoops, something flew by. I don't like bugs in my van. <laughs> yeah, um, the thing is being at the park, you know, uh, for a couple of days. Okay, so solar, I did get my solar up on my uh, roof, my solar panel that I originally have, and I put it up on my roof. I t put it with, um, uh, when I got here, I went out and I put up the um, zip ties on it because, you know, and, and I will take it when I drive and then I will take it back down. But today I'm going to be powering up my uh, Jackery. So it's in the sun. Now, some of you actually said, D, just put it in your windshield, put it in your windshield. That way nobody, nobody can really see it up there. So, and then I put gray duct tape. Um, it's coming in through my window back here, so, um, nobody will be able to see it now. But I said, put it in your windshield. So I wanted to check on that because I don't want to hurt, and it was an expensive, um, uh, solar panel. And they said, yes, um, you're not going to get, because what's going to happen is you're going to, there, there are these, um, solar energy laws are like the law of gravity where but the, it's not the law of gravity which isn't even the law anymore it's a law of relativity but uh it's going to hit the the glass first and it's going to reflect off a good portion of it some will get through but the problem is that it's going it could possibly overheat it's going to trap heat which means it's going to be trapping more heat in my van mm, I don't want that and if it gets so hot it's that will it will um, damage and ruin my solar panel so you know I did look that up I googled it and yeah it's like no I'm not gonna put it in my windshield I'm that I can put it up on the roof and make it so nobody's uh, just got my little stool up and I got up there and I put it up so um, if once I really do get some solar up there and I get it drilled in and get the holes drilled, then I'm going to have to get a uh, a taller ladder. I'm only 5'3". Get a taller ladder. I'm going to have to carry it around so I can get up there. Because I am going to be able to, I'm going to need to clean them and things like that. So, Okay, so I got it up. So I'm real anxious to see. Last, um, I tried it yesterday and I was kind of in the shade. But I wanted to see what I could get. And I, I tried it, and I put it up there. I was getting about um, 7 watts, which isn't anything. But, hey, it's a trickle in it. I was in, I was desperately in the shade. So it wasn't, yeah. But so light is going to come in no matter what. Up, um, energy is going to be trickling in. And even if it trickles in, that's going to help me out through the week um, to keep my fan going and things like that. So I wanted to update update you with that now tomorrow I'll probably leave you a short video and let you know how much um, I actually uh, increased on my Jack race so well listen I want you guys to have a really good day um, you know praise Jesus and uh, always look to the future and don't look back here and I did watch a video I did do a little bit of uh, energy um, meditation this morning God Center but you know for energy and I'm feeling good and energy, you know, my whole body. Um, and I listened also to uh, Joe Dispenza. And he says, he says, don't listen. Don't go back to the past. Don't go back there. He says 50% of all of your past or more 
is this made up because your brain was so different back then? It's all made up. We've embellished it so much that it's like, so don't, don't go back there. Let's all keep going forward, 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 and be excited about what we see in there. Get in our minds like, what do we want? What do we want to do? And then be excited about it and be grateful for it as if it's already happened. So praise Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. And I will talk to you later. Bye.